Froggy's Birthday Wish by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank R. It was the night before Froggy's birthday and Froggy was excited. Look, the moon, cried Froggy. It looks like an orange piñata and Froggy made a birthday wish. Froggy, called his mom in the morning. What? Time for breakfast, dear. Froggy bounced on his bed and sang, Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday, dear Froggy. Happy birthday to me. Then he got dressed. Zip, zip, zip. Z, 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 and flopped into the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. Are we having something special? Asked Froggy. Uh, no, dear. Why do you ask? Oh, I don't know, said Froggy. Are you doing anything special today, Dad? Um, not really. Why do you ask? Then Froggy turned to Polly. Well, what do you have to say, Polly? Poo poo on you, hee hee hee. Froggy ate his bowl of cereal and flies and wondered, what if my family forgot my birthday? Froggy, called his mom. What? Shoo shoo, go out and play. So Froggy flopped over to Max's. Flop, flop, flop and banged on the door. Max! Max! he shouted, but nobody was home. Oh no, cried Froggy. What if Max forgot my birthday? Then he went over to Matthew's, but nobody was home. Oh no, cried Froggy. What if Matthew forgot my birthday? Then he went over to Travis's, but nobody was home. Oh no, cried Froggy. What if Travis forgot my birthday? So he dragged himself home, zloop, wondering, what if everybody forgot my birthday? So much for my birthday wish. When he finally got home, Froggy opened the door. Surprise! Froggy almost jumped out of his skin. Zing, arp, arp. Everybody was there. Matthew, Max, Travis, even Frogalina. Frogalina said, I bet you were worried that everybody forgot your birthday. Not me, said Froggy. Froggy still had hopes for his birthday wish. But first, he and his friends played pin the tail on the donkey. Froggy almost pinned the tail on Max's mother's bottom. Oops. Arf, laughed Doggy. Now it was time for the birthday cake. And here came mom with all the candles burning and everybody saying, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear froggy, happy birthday to you. This was the moment froggy had been waiting for. He made his wish, took a big breath and blew out all the candles. Whoosh. After they gobbled down the cake, Mom announced, time to open presents. First, Froggy ripped open a present from Max, with a little help from Doggy. A skateboard, he shouted, and hopped on. Zoom, crash, he knocked over the punch bowl. Oops, said Froggy. Then he ripped open a present from Matthew. A scooter, he shouted and hopped on. Zing! Crash! He nearly knocked over the fishbowl. And then he ripped open a present from Travis. A pogo stick! He shouted and hopped on. Boing! 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 And hit his head on the ceiling. Bonk! And fell down. But he still hadn't gotten his wish. Finally, Frogalina said, I have a surprise for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And what do you think she gave him? A big, fat piñata, like an orange moon. Yippee, cried Froggy, and he sang, 
I got my wish, I got my wish, froggy, called dad. What? Come out and hit your piñata. So froggy flopped outside, flop, flop, flop. And Dad hung the piñata from the tree and tied a bandana over his eyes. Then Froggy swung the bat and missed. Swish! He swung again. Swish! And on his third swing, whack! The piñata flew up, 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 then dropped down, 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 and burst open on Froggy's head. Splat! Oops! cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Candy! Candy! yelled Frogalina. Candy for everyone! And everyone dived in, even Doggy. Well, I got my wish, cried Froggy, and it was filled with chocolate-covered flies. Yum! Munch, crunch, munch. Num, num, said Polly Wogalina, stuffing her face with candy. Happy burp day, Froggy! Burp! And everybody laughed. Arf, arf! Even Doggy.